because that's <laughs> that's tactless. No, I okay. wasn't saying black people. No. I wasn't. I, that wasn't my reference. I was saying crazy people. That oh oh okay all right yeah I, was, I wasn't okay. talking. Yeah, it wasn't like, I oh, thought yeah, you, you were get... trying. I thought no. you were trying to distinguish the difference between darkies and porch monkeys. I wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, jeez, no. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. I, wasn't, I wasn't saying black people. I wasn't saying dark-skinned people. I wasn't saying this neighborhood all of a sudden got very dark because five <laughs> black folks moved in. <laughs> nothing like that. I'm, so, I'm not saying. It has nothing to do with color. I'm talking about the, the type of people who some are a little uh, crazy. Some are a little wacky. Some are a little drunk. Some are very high. <laughs> but they're all wackadoo at about midnight if they're up that late. Uh, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, please continue. Well, okay, so you, know, you, you see a lot of interesting characters. You deal with a lot of interesting things. Right. Um, I'll just give you the short version. Okay. In, in, in the years that I was there, um, though I was a hotel desk clerk, I had to deal with things like fecal matter. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, that one was bad. This this gentleman, and and keep in mind, I say all that to say this. The gentleman that did it did write me a letter and uh-huh. leave it at the front desk apologizing. And he basically called me a hero. And I normally wouldn't have let something like that go to my head. But that's fecal matter, man. Okay. That's that, boo. That is shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Um, but basically, he went into a bathroom that was probably, I'm going to say a quarter size of the room we're in now. Okay. Well, they're usually pretty small. Yeah. And when he came out of the bathroom, there wasn't a surface in that room other than the mirror and the ceiling that did not have some trace of shit on it. How the hell did that If I happen? had a week, I w- wouldn't have been able to ask all the questions that I had. You couldn't when CSI I'm, that stuff, huh? This, I had no desire to go near it. He basically came and was like, I had an accident. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, and I'm trying to be compassionate because, you know, that's, I understand, you grown man. I'm thinking in the back of my head, grown, you shouldn't sit yourself, fuck wrong with you. But then I'm understanding, you know, people got medical issues, people got things going right. on, whatnot. So, and, you know, as a professional, I'm trying to be professional. And then I walked into the bathroom. <laughs> and now keep in mind, he's standing outside the bathroom because I guess he felt like he needed to guide me to the bathroom that he had the accident in. Ooh. Like I wasn't going to be able to figure it out. I mean, you know, there was a men's and there was the ladies. I had a 50-50 shot of getting it, you know. Uh-huh. Um, but anyway, I, I, I opened the door. And literally, it was like a scene in the movie. Like, <laughs> you open the door and it just it's opens like up like really slow. And there's a slow mo And like... The, the aperture of the lens and the hallway gets really long and <laughs> shit. And you're like, holy mother of God. What the fuck happened in here? And I'm looking around. And there is just, just, just this watery shit everywhere. Oh, God. Okay. And I keep thinking back to his words because he's like, I had an accident. <laughs> and I'm looking at the wall next to the toilet. Oh. And like a foot and a half off the ground from the baseboard, there's like this giant smear of shit. Normally, I don't gauge like the weight and and, and mass of fecal matter. Yeah. But if I had to guess, we're going at least a turd and a half's worth on this one smear. Okay. We're going to I mean, measure that out in your head. But it was one of the most absolutely horrible horrific no pun intended shitty moments i have ever had in my professional career of doing anything at all and there it is did did you see the uh the picture that daryl posted i did i did black people (laughs) jokes and mexican jokes are pretty much the same once you heard one you heard jamal right wow and with and with that wow and with that one joke all of the blacks and Mexicans revolted <laughs> and shut down our show. Yeah, pretty much. That was, and you know what? Kill, you know what kills me? What's that? On the air, I can't even tell people. No, it's okay. I'm black because they're listening to my voice going. Hey, is a my fucking liar? <laughs> He's black. I'm dying. <laughs> I am black. He it, is so black. If we turn off the lights and he smiled, that'd be the only thing I could see was his smile. Wow. Wow. You know, that's... Is that... You know what? 
Don't you shoot know, until you see the whites of his eyes. Motherfucker, that's all I can see. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to get some of that like jellyfish shit. I'm just going to start brushing my teeth with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to wait. I'm going to get them bitches to illuminate. (laughs) And I'm just going to... No, I'm going to tell you why. Because of all the black jokes I've ever been told in my life, that's the one that bothers me the most because it's an actual real problem. (laughs) It's not like where they say, well, all black people are lazy and they don't want to work. I can fight that stereotype. (laughs) I work. I'm not lazy right but you mean you're not on welfare oh my god no not not food the only stamps in this house are for letters not for food okay that being said okay i used to be in the high school band okay and naturally when you you know when you're in high school for anything you know they, they take your yearbook picture right okay now when you have your single yearbook picture and it's you with your shitty haircut and your and your shit eating grin it's a color photo and it's nice and it's gloss and it's this but when you start photographing like groups and clubs and things like that it's black and white they, yeah they do the black and white monochrome thing you see where this is going Uh-oh. our band at the time had like a million kids in it right okay and out of these million kids like the one year that I actually did get my yearbook photo taken because uh-huh. I avoided getting my yearbook photo photo taken for this reason okay they photographed me along with like i don't know 179 other white kids <laughs> i played Which tuba of these i played tuba like the other. so i'm in the back row i'm <laughs> not even in the front i don't even rank token status <laughs> they've got me sitting in the fucking back <laughs> and i'm sitting there and what was even worse than that was were the uniforms the, black or something? The uniforms were red, white, and black. And the uniform shirt itself, like the the top piece, yeah, was a white, and it had a red and black sash that moved over it, and then black hat and black pants with a red stripe. Oh god, and, and, I'm seeing where this is going already. Yeah. So because of the contrast of these hundreds of kids wearing white and being white and being photographed in the concert hall where the light is shit. And, yeah, my shit came out looking like a ghost. <laughs> like a nega ghost. Like the Cheshire yeah. cat. <laughs> you yeah. can only see his eyes and his teeth. My, I looked like a, like a negative pumpkin. Like what, what, <laughs> like, what is that when they reverse space? Like, they're, they're solid where there was empty and empty where there was solid, then negative space or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I looked like a negative space pumpkin <laughs> in that fucking picture. Awesome. And I'm and Dinah's like, I have that picture too. Ah keep it in the motherfucking book. Now <laughs> shut <anyway. up> people. <laughs> she said shit. See, that's more of that diet racism I was talking about. Sh- <laughs> shadow people. And she wrote shadow people. What she really meant was spook. <laughs> <laughs> Racist motherfucker. <laughs> I'm ending the show. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it has been another Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Phil and Ed, I guess they, they didn't get signal. They're having bear they were- sex. <laughs> <laughs> sweaty, sweaty, hairy bear he man sex. They're having hairy, sweaty man tent sex. <laughs> oh my god you know they're you know as soon as they get back into signal range they're going to start listening to the show oh yeah i'm, I'm counting on it oh yeah i'm counting on it oh yeah so should, should we do our, our word of the week you should do our word of the okay. week and then right. we should and then we, we should end the show down. having told everyone that ed and phil <laughs> fucked each other are gay <laughs> they're gay homosexuals <laughs> You know what kills me when people say that? They're like, he's a gay homosexual. How many other fucking kinds of homosexuals do you know? Lesbian? Oh, wow. <laughs> Transgender? No, that's not. Inter- intersex? That's not homosexual. I don't, Lesbians? I don't think that. Would, wait, what? What? I, never mind. I'm I'm, I'm done. <laughs> okay. we've, I'm pretty sure we've offended everybody. I'm We're sure. Hey, oh. that, that's, that's our job every if, day. And, and, and if we manage not to offend you, please reach out to us on the What It Is phone lines at 732 four seven four seven wait four seven four seven 
three nine three. That's the number. Right? This is your own phone number. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't say. call myself Dick. Seven three two four freeze. How about that? Seven three two four P H R E Z E. There you go. Okay, that's that works. All right, and the, the yeah. Urban Dictionary word of the week is the Urban Dictionary word of the week is boobstracted. 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 I have a terminal case. <laughs> I do too. I already feel it, but hit me. There with are the two meaning. definitions. There are two definitions to boobstracted. Yes, okay. although they are very, very similar. Okay. Okay. Hit Having me. a hard time. <laughs> as <a> <laughs> <laughs> this one lets me know that we're just juvenile. Because <laughs> yes. we can't even have a regular conversation. No. I mean, like you know, so how was your day? Oh, it was hard. <laughs> 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 You're like really. <laughs> Okay, having a hard time as a male to look a woman in the eyes because of her distracting front torso. Just wow, the distracting front damn. front torso. Damn. The second definition is having a hard time as a male to focus on anything because of a distracting female torso in sight. It happens. Yes. <laughs> okay. It it happens. Quite frankly, I am surprised that any male employees at like Hooters or. Anything like that gets anything done. Uh, I got a Hooter story for you after the show. Nice. Here's the here's the uh, quote because of course there's always a quote Hit that me puts with it the in. Quote. Okay. Quote: I didn't notice the yellow car because I was boobstracted by Caroline. I- I'm sorry. You were saying I was totally boobstracted. Apologies. <laughs> boobs. 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 Now, do you and, prefer uh, boobs or bubes? Like b e w b s. That's that actually. I'm. I'm a. Uh, I like titties. Titties or titties? Titties. I prefer titties. It, it, that's See, here's my thing. Okay. To me, titties gives the combination of, or gives connotation of, I don't want to say normal, average size breast. Like, you know. The, the, she's got a nice set of titties. Just, yeah, right. She's got, she's got nice titties. Yeah. Okay. Two. True. True. But titties... See, see that mental image you just got? Uh, yeah, yeah, You're, yeah. When I said titties, you imagined titties, but slightly bigger and bouncing. It's true. Yes, see? Thank so you. So here we go. Thank you. Bubes, tatas, and knockers. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> Increase awareness today, folks. Increase awareness. It's been another Sunday. Bazungas? Baz- <laughs> I think it's bazongas, if anything. That's, well, now, hold on. But I've never heard of the term bazungas, but I've heard of bazongas. That's uh, well. Back when I was a kid, they called them bazookas. I've also heard bazookas. Yes, that's, uh, They're for the really long ones that were still perky, like like in the college days. Yes, yes. I actually had a friend that I went uh, skinny dipping with back mm-hmm. in college, uh, and she had the most perfect, most perfect large breasts I have ever seen in my entire life, visually close enough where I could touch them. You know what's going to crack me up? What's that? <laughs> when you get home? Yeah. And your wife is sitting on the couch, and she's like, so I decided that I didn't want to judge the show so harshly and decided to give it another second chance. Uh, she, already, she, already know, she already knows I've seen Katie's boobs. It's okay. Boobs. Boobs. No, yeah, she no, no, she no. had some bazookas. Oh, my. I used, to, I used to call them nuclear missiles. That's uh, Sweater meat is also a I don't like sweater meat because I, I like to meat. eat meat, and I don't. I, I can't imagine like eat, like cutting off a boob, frying it up in a pan. And eating it. That's not the way that you eat it. Well, I know that. You're supposed to just suck it off the stalk. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Thank you for letting us come in and ruin your Sunday. Rocket tits. Thank it, you. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is. Wow. Andrew. <laughs> Brother, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> it has. <laughs> Andrew in the studio with me. Phil and Ed will be back next week. After they're and done having their sweaty bear yes, sex. Ab- after the tent orgy. And, uh, and, taint and or tent? T- yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. And, and, uh, and, and you're hitting the game next week, right? Uh, I will be gone yeah. next week, but I'm still going to send the... Uh, the uh, I'm not going to send... We're not going to do a sports report. You, you don't trust us to handle the sports report? You know what? None of you are sports fans at all. You know what? For Eddie. I'm gonna handle the sports report next week. I'm gonna fucking do it. How about that? Okay, you're actually gonna do all the the the, the research and the, the research and for that. it. Yes, really. Yes. I'm well, you know to... what? I'm gonna listen from Bush Stadium. You're gonna li- wait, I'm gonna you're listen. gonna listen to my sports report from an actual sporting event. Yes. That's yes. you know what my my wig. 
<laughs> <laughs> All right. So we are out. Thank each and every one of you for listening to us. We know that. And we apologize somewhat. Yeah. Some, somewhat. It, it's not that we're sorry. We're regretful. Yes. There's a difference. There you go. There, <laughs> there you go. We're not sorry for Nailed what it. we're done. We're regretful for how it affected you.